Have you ever had the experience of being the only person in a classroom who had trouble doing something or understanding a certain concept? How would you feel if every day in school you faced the same kind of difficulty while everyone else seemed to find the work easier than you? What kind of support and teaching would you need to keep trying? The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, is a law that was passed to help and support students who face this situation every day. The current version of the law was passed in 2004, but it's based on a law that was first created in 1975 known as the Education for All Handicapped Children Act. It revolutionized the education of children with disabilities, which, in 2001, was more than 6 million children. The IDEA requires that public schools provide specialized services to all children with disabilities from birth to age 21 for the purpose of granting equal access to education. A specific part of the law mandates public schools to create an Individualized Education Program, or IEP, for each student who is found to have an eligible disability. An IEP is a document that is drawn up and agreed upon by teachers, parents, specialists, and, if possible, the student. The document describes the present achievement level of the student, then specifies goals for the school year, as well as any special support needed to achieve those goals. In other lessons, we'll discuss learning disabilities in more depth and how to use an IEP in the classroom. The focus of this lesson is the law itself. Let's visit Cornerstone Elementary to see an example of the IDEA in action. Meet Susie. Susie is a bright, energetic third grader who loves school. Susie has a hearing impairment. She's not deaf, but her hearing is poor enough that it affects her educational performance as she has trouble hearing any of her teachers. Susie would qualify for special assistance under the IDEA. Her IEP would include information about her hearing impairment, such as the most recent hearing test results, and would also outline multiple goals and services agreed upon by her parents and teachers. Although Susie might meet with a specialist once or twice a week, most of her time would still be spent in the classroom with all of her fellow students. This is because another aspect of the IDEA is the requirement that a student with a disability be educated in the least restrictive environment possible, or LRE. In other words, a student like Susie who has a disability should have the opportunity to be educated with her non-disabled peers to the greatest extent possible. Susie should have the opportunity to interact with her peers and have the same access to educational experiences as everyone else. Susie may just need additional resources, such as visual aids, to optimize her learning. Individualized education programs and least restrictive environment are the two most well-known principles of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. However, there are four 